What's up guys here we are in a new video and this video i'm going to be sharing with you my best productivity apps you know we go to our jobs daily and we work and we also want to deliver the best results in a very short time there are a lot of productivity apps that will make your work even much easier and efficient using these apps you'll be able to deliver your task without any distraction or inconvenience so each app serves a specific purpose these seven apps i'm going to list are going to help you a lot without further ado let's dive into it the first one here is google calendar google calendar is a powerful free service you can use to organize your schedule and coordinate events with others it has many useful features including the ability to share calendar with others and easily switch what is currently displayed this allows you to plan and allocate your time effectively so if you have never heard of google calendar you should really check it out you can get it on the app store or play store make sure to download that and it's going to help you a lot next up is camera connect i'm somebody who works with this camera not always but then i work with my camera sometimes i take pictures videos you know documentaries and all that so let's say i take pictures on my camera how do i import them to my devices mostly you need a computer because of the card but then now there's a software application you can get from your app store or play store for canon it's called camera connect there are a lot for nikon sony and other brands so once you download this app you can just automatically connect your camera with your phone or your camera with your ipad and then import all the images and videos you want and proceed by editing them on your iphone or ipad so you don't always have to carry your computer around i think that's way much smarter next up we have canva a lot of professional graphic designers don't really use canva but for me i just need to organize a flyer real quick i don't really have to go use photoshop for example i just use canva i get all the tools and elements i want there and then i can organize a very good looking flyer in minutes i know you can do a lot with photoshop but then canva is way much easier especially if you are not a professional graphic designer you rather stick with canva if you just want to design a graphic just download the canva from app or play store log in and then proceed with creating or making your flyer or any graphics but if you want much of a professional result you rather go with photoshop it's a little bit complicated if you are new to it but then it's even much like a professional software editor for graphics and things like that next up is microsoft office as usual there's nobody on earth who works and then don't use a microsoft office like you got the microsoft word there excel powerpoint and the rest and then how are you not using Microsoft Office? I understand there are a lot of alternatives like that, but then Microsoft Office is the best. So for me, I use Microsoft Word for creating documents, Excel for spreadsheets, PowerPoint for presentations and all that. I really love using Microsoft Office. The fact that I can get it on my iPad, on my iPhone, and then if I'm not with my computer, I can just automatically open the document, edit it and everything. It's just seamless it's an amazing experience so you can get it all across your devices you can create document on your computer and then later on you can get it on your iphone all you need is just to download it on your phone and then log in with the same login details on your computer the next one we got on the list is called photoscape x photoscape x is a free photo editing software for mac and windows 10. it provides features to edit including adjusting colors applying effects and filters drawing combining images creating collards and animated gifs this software supports various formats including raw footage or raw images photoscape x is for amateurs and professional photographers and also graphic designers this is somehow in competition with photoshop even though photoshop is better but this is also a good idea so make sure to check it out on the play store or on the app store on your computer my favorite software application is final cut pro final cut pro is a video application software you know a lot of filmmakers have their choices a lot of videos editors have their choices some use premiere pro some uses davinci resolve while some uses final cut pro so so far so good i have to say this Final Cut Pro is the best video software editor. This video editor do comes with a lot of features. I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot of features. So you might think that Adobe Premiere Pro is better. No, it's not. Final Cut Pro is way much better. I've been using Final Cut Pro for at least four years now. And anytime, any day, I choose this video editor instead of the Premiere Pro. I've tried out the Premiere Pro, but then the experience you get on Final Cut Pro is a very seamless experience. It boosts your creativity. What is just sad about Final Cut Pro is you can only get it if you are using a Mac. 
so it's just for the mac users you can get it on your windows computer but then it's very well worth it to leave a windows computer to come back to a mac computer just for final cut pro especially if you are a professional video editor or a filmmaker believe in me it will be worth it next up we have polar polar is also an image editing software although in 2024 i want to recommend polar really because i've been using it for a while it's really good it's really amazing it, it do have a really good user experience but then i would recommend the lightroom so just go get the lightroom you can get it on your ipad iphone maybe your computer you can use that to edit your pictures it's really really good but then if you want to get the polar as an alternative you can go get polar it do comes with a lot of features you can get on lightroom so advisably you can get both and you can mess around with the settings to see which one you want do you want the polar or do you want the lightroom i'm sure a lot of people are going with the lightroom but then just go get both and then do your experiments and then figure out which one is best for you the last off here is called notion notion helps people be more productive on documents it lets you work on a document in the cloud leaving edits and comments other people you give access to can also view edit the document and make changes so that's all for the video these are my best productivity apps i use to work daily each app for each purpose so make sure to go and check out some i will leave some links in the description where you can get these applications and if i get more apps that will boost your creativity i will make a part two of this video Make sure to subscribe so that you won't miss that. Until then, I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace.